right the way down there. And uh, also, I was delighted to see the performance of the Ukrainian women's C2 over 500 metres yesterday. So, coming right up, the final of the uh, women's kayak over 200 metres. And there you can see uh, Slovenia, the European champions, uh, European champions. Just uh, eight boats in the lineup, but uh, no Slovenian representation. So there will be a new set of names on the roll of honor. Ukraine will be on the far side. They were sixth in the recent world championships. Israel and then Austria. The Lahatchi family name well to the fore there. Emerging. Austria, Adriana Lahachi and Anna Lahachi. Anna Lahachi, who for such a long time was partnered by uh, Victoria Schwarz. In fact, that partnership was sixth in Europe last year. Hungarians, Blanka Kiss and Anna Lutz, world champions, third in uh, Europe a year ago. And they go in lane four. Lane five, Dominika Puto, Katarzyna Kolodzic in lane five, the runners up a year ago. Germany represented in lane six by Paulina Pasek and Juli Heik. And to their right, Sweden. Linear stencils with Moa Wickberg, uh, seventh in the world. And completing the uh, lineup will be uh, Latvia. Elisabeth Vixne and Samara Ozakova. So the final of the uh, women's 200 meters kayak doubles under starters orders. start by the uh, Polish duo as well but uh, getting out uh, fastest of all the uh, Austrians and the uh, Hungarians in particular yeah Hungarians looking really really good these two they dominated the world championships Anna Lutz will be really disappointed she missed out on the medal yesterday in the K1 and she wants to put that to bed they're doing so at the minute really good pace from the white boat and the Hungarians in lane four yeah, Poland right next to them in lane five, vying for the uh, gold medal. Coming to the last few metres now, Hungary holding on, Poland a second, they take the silver and the bronze medal. Well, Germany at the bottom and the Ukraine furthest away at the uh, top. That's nip and tuck. Yeah, it was. That's that dark boat over in lane one from the Euro U Ukrainians, I should say, looking really good for a medal there. But a dominant performance, I think, from the Hungarians in picture. European champions who were a good way ahead at the World Championships just a couple of weeks ago in this particular event. Big roar going up, so it could mean that the Germans have stolen the bronze medal. Yeah, it is close. So uh, Germany have got the bronze medal. It was tight, but they're there. And, well, 
relief as much as anything else for the uh, German duo. Yeah, you know, very talented, pretty young crew. Julie Hacker in the bo in the back of that boat there. Ori uh, taking part in a number of events with good success here. They didn't get the best start. Hungarians got away really well, as did Lane One. We'll have to watch them at the finish, the Ukrainians. But the Hungarians, they're very, very efficient, very powerful, lovely high tempo, really crisp. Uh, paddling strokes you can see from them there really lock onto that blade well and drive their bodies perfectly in unison and uh, under the microscope of 200 meter racing they really delivered and you can see there the Polish just trying to uh, shoot the bow forward to try and just grab the gold away from the Hungarians, but not to be. It's a factory of talent, Hungarian canoe well, sprint, yeah, isn't I mean, it? Well, yeah, they have a wealth of talent. And actually, you know, even if you look in the uh, the area of Budapest, there are nearly 50 canoe clubs in that area alone. It's a huge sport in Hungary. It's no wonder they produce such great champions. And Germany denying Ukraine to take the bronze medal.